Hello, welcome to Reader Retreat. I'm Paul, and this is the sixth day of my 72 hour uh, challenge. Uh, and then you go, but 72 hour challenge is over three days. You know, the red. And so you already did double that. But what I'm doing is. I am taking 72 hours and only running the time when I am reading. So I still got 52 hours, 27 minutes, and 15 seconds left on the clock. So, so I'm just, I'm, so the 72 hours is going to go for a long time because it's going to go for quite a few days. And uh, I did finish a book yesterday. I finished Venom. Five stars, baby. This is a five star book. I love it. I enjoyed this, this series. Uh, now, everybody knows Kim Harrison's Hollow series is my number one urban fantasy book uh, series. But uh, I can honestly say this has taken over. I'm enjoying this character just a wee little bit more. I'm enjoying the writing just a wee little bit more. So, but I, but it still has a long ways to go to take over the Hollow series. But, yep, I'm done with this one. This was the third book in the Elemental Assassin series. And if it, if you'd like a, uh, good urban fantasy with a good strong uh, main character try this out if you have if you haven't tried this out yet try it out and uh, see what you think okay now with that said My next book that I'm reading is Nathaniel. Right there. Nathaniel. Uh, I can't hardly move my hands. Uh, so that's what I've been reading. I am. Let me see the book. Because I do take the dust jackets off. Uh, I am on chapter 10. And, uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not, people. Huh? Cross your fingers. Uh, 27% done with it on page 95. And it did keep going. Okay. So, anyway, Nathaniel. This is a three complete novels in one. So uh, the first one's Brainchild. I read that. I enjoyed Brainchild. Uh, I can't remember if it's a three or four. Uh, Nathaniel. I'm enjoying Nathaniel. Nathaniel is something else. That's for sure. Uh, but if you like a good ghost story. Nathaniel is a good ghost story. So, uh, oh, that's what I had to say today. Thank you for keep for uh, keeping track of what I'm doing in the seventy-two hours. So so far in the seventy-two hours, I finished two books, and. Uh, Uh, I'll be putting out another uh, video later today. Uh, so okay, uh, it's saying the, the uh, current reads for March, and uh, I'm going to talk about the reads I'm going to start uh, reading tomorrow. That is for March. Uh, if you want to know my March TBR, 
I did do a Marsh DVR earlier a few days ago. And go check it out. But this, but today video will, you know, later on will be the books I'm going to try to get into this weekend. And then on Sunday I will do next week's, uh, what I'm going to try to get into next week. So hopefully I can get done with Nathaniel today. Then tomorrow is the first day of March. Will it come in like a lion? Or come in like a lamb. Because either way, it's either going to come in like a lion or it's going to leave like a lion. And what does that mean? That means storms. That's usually what it means. Bad weather. Come in the wet. I mean, I've seen worse the storms. I've seen worse storms probably in March. In the beginning of March, then I then the end of March. Uh, I ain't gonna say that it's the worst storms I've ever seen because they ain't. And uh, but I've seen more bad storms that March comes in with than leaves because usually when they leave, it, it's usually a nice calm, like a lamb. I'm I'm rambling. You guys take care, and I'll see everybody later.